Hi, doctors. My boyfriend constantly suffers from neck pain. He insists on sleeping with a ton of pillows, which between you and me, I think he picked up from his ex-girlfriend. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I don't know what his obsession is with all the pillows, but personally, I think they are the cause for his neck pain. What do you think, and can you offer advice? Jody, I'm glad you asked that because I'm going to take a little nap here, but one of the things I often don't think about, much like maybe your boyfriend, is neck alignment when you're trying to sleep. And you can't have too many pillows or the wrong pillow. You're absolutely right, Dr. Travis. Like, for instance, the way that you're lying here right now, your head is in the forward-flexed, head-forward position. Very similar to what you have when you're you know, on the computer or texting. And what we're trying to do is try to get you out of that position so you can heal while you sleep. So here's a simple test that you could actually do. If you put a pin on your forehead, and you'll notice that when his head is up in the forward flex position, his chin is down, he's not getting a really great breathing, and what happens is the pin goes forward. So his head is in a forward flex position, which is not healthful, right? So well, likely you can to get... snore? It, yes, more, exactly. More likely not to move air right. properly? It's more the angle. It is not like the softness. You, you know, there's soft and firm pillows. That doesn't right. really matter, or does it? it? It does. You're right. It's the angle of what the head and neck Ooh, are in. Look at that. So now, fancy. if you can actually get in this with pillow one, this pillow that I invented mm. was designed to solve that issue. So your head is, and neck is in perfect alignment, you get the natural curvature of the spine. And now you'll notice that he, it, when he puts the pin on, the, on, the, on his uh, forehead, it'll stay neutral. Now his forehead and chin are in perfect alignment. Look at that. So nice. He, actually, so now Dr. Travis can heal while he sleeps, which is heal. Cool. <laughs> Travis. Sleeping hey, Travis. provides that wonderful ability to where you, you got, can man. actually, and it also <laughs> opens up your, your um, ventilation, your respiratory system, so you can actually breathe. And that also helps in the previous system where you're talking about anxiety. Right. And, and I will tell everyone, I'm gonna lay her for a few more seconds. That nice. Looks nice. <laughs> that we, we often forget about how important neck alignment is, especially those of us who go to sleep with the pillows propped up, watching the TV. You're trying to watch the TV so your head's all propped up, then you fall asleep, you wake up the next day, your neck hurts. Well, it, it, it's obvious because you want proper neck alignment. Right. So try the pen test at home. If and you're not certain. The other last thing we might add is you change positions 14 to 16 times a night. So the, what I actually did in the pillow design is when you do go onto your right side or left side, like you said there. I'll go right. Go right, and your head will be in the natural. So here? Yes, no, that's correct, in the side panel. So now Tra Dr. Travis's head is in perfect alignment of the spine. So now, just like, unlike when, if he had a bunch of pillows propped up underneath his neck, where his head would be in a cocked position, which would be, which would be very stressful to the muscles, tendons, and ligaments, and discs. So now his head is in perfect alignment. That's what Pillow One does for you. So you can, do, Jim, you you can be a side pillows? sleeper as well as a back sleeper. Exactly. Yeah. You, can have a, you can be a side sleeper, which about 75, <laughs> 70% yeah. of the people are. Yeah. So. Dr. Hall. Night-night. Yeah. Thank you.